Crypto has some big problems right now, but scams and hacks might be among the biggest, and they're getting more sophisticated every year. Crypto scams and hacks are always a big concern for the industry. According to a report, hackers stole over $4 billion worth of cryptocurrency between January and November last year. FTX's collapse is considered to be the largest scam to date, with an estimated $1 to $2 billion worth of investors' funds still unaccounted for. Also included in 2022's top three scams are March's Axie Infinity Ronin bridge hack and the Wormhole Crypto bridge hack in February. Kevin Feely of Bullish told Forecast that all of these highlighted one thing, the risks of cryptocurrency. We saw a lot more um, institutional related issues. Um, so big hacks, uh, custody breaches, um, uh, DeFi uh, hacks were on-chain, funds were stolen through um, smart contracts that weren't validating their input properly. Um, I think this really brought to light a lot of the risks around uh, crypto for uh, sort of the mainstream who had really jumped in with both feet uh, in 2021 as the bull market sort of culminated. Um, and so now as we're approaching 2023, we're starting to see um, the pullback or the continued pullback from both retail and institutional customers. Feely said security concerns will always be around. There is always the possibility of a bigger scam or a bigger hack in 2023. For the industry to survive, Feely said there's only one thing to do. I do think that is a big, uh, really important um, uh, decision for, for most companies moving forward is how do we regain trust in crypto? Because if we don't uh, regain trust in crypto, we're never going to repair the ecosystem and we're never going to continue to grow. Um, so I think that that's sort of the first goal of 2023 is what is our long term view of trust? Trust, as they say, is earned. So how can the whole crypto industry regain trust again? I think the path is to go back to basics, uh, back to you know basic hygiene, back to looking at how have we established trust in the past, and it's it's been a lot slower, it's been a lot a, a little more boring perhaps, uh, a little more paperwork, um, a lot more of I'm going to trust this person to do an audit of you. Uh, and I'm going to validate that I trust the audit results, and I'm going to ask you a whole lot of questions to understand how you operate so that I can make a decision about whether or not I want to trust you. It's, it's a lot more manual, uh, moving away from the cryptographic a little bit. The big question now is how to protect your crypto. Feely says there are several options. So there are custody providers that you can work with directly, and that's very similar to using a traditional bank. And that, that works for some people, uh, and it allows you to put your faith in this organization and maybe have some information about how it works. Alternatively, you can keep your funds uh, on an exchange. That's worked for a long time, right? Uh, for, for the past several years, I think trust in keeping funds on exchanges has increased. Um, and, but we've obviously had several issues with that recently uh, and uh, may or may not be the right path going forward. Uh, so then, then you have hardware wallets, and that's the natural path, I think, for those of us who are more security-minded. A critical aspect for the industry moving forwards is, of course, regulation. Caroline Malcolm of Chainalysis recently told Forecast, regulators worldwide are looking at a much more comprehensive range of policy issues that need to be addressed. Many believe that the slew of scandals last year prompted a closer look at the industry, and Feely agrees. In the crypto industry, we definitely need more regulation. Um, because we've just proven to be untrustworthy as, as an industry, right? There's enough bad actors uh, that, uh, again, as an industry, not as individuals or, or you know, any, any particular company, but uh, there's enough bad actors uh, that are, have been free to, to do what they want and take advantage of others um, and, or alternatively, uh, do their best to secure assets, but another bad actor may come and, and take those assets, right? And, uh, so we need to, to, to raise the bar in some way. Despite all the bad things that have happened last year, optimism for 2023 remains. And what's important moving forward is to take those lessons and act to try and improve the industry. There's definitely a strong crypto market. There's a lot of opportunity, a lot of growth here. Uh, but we have to raise the bar, raise our standard for security, for fraud protection, for consumer protection, uh, for visibility, transparency, uh, so uh, we've got we've got great visions, but we have to we have to 
slow down a bit and uh, make sure we're taking practical steps to protect the people that we're trying to build this system for. All right, that's it from us. Do like and subscribe to this video if you want to see more content like it and let us know your thoughts on this in the comments below.